Huh? What's the matter, Law? It's just weird how quiet it is. Are you sure? Isn't this how it normally is? Usually there's a little more going on. Like building and repairing houses and stuff. But there's none of that. Now that you mention it, you're right. Do they halt the repairs or something? Well, if it isn't the Blazing Sword, and Law too! Just call me Elfin. But that's no way to speak to our hero and savior. <clears throat> uh, hey, uh, what's going on? It looks like the construction's on hold. It is. Is that why you're here? No, I was just wondering. Mind explaining? You know how the Crimson Crows are in charge of reconstruction? Well, they've been busy lately. Which means the repairs on my house are taking forever. My family's tired of waiting so long. We could make some progress if we at least had materials, but those damn Zoogles... So you want us to do something about that? Yes! You can find what we need in the Iglia Wastes. Should be a cakewalk for a hero, right? <laughs> Talk about getting carried away. Sheesh. I guess this is what heroes do now. Alfin. Still, we can't ignore this. Come on. Something's bothering you again. People rely on us because we're heroes. And we just drop everything to help them because it's expected of us. Is that really the way it should be? Life seems to be improving for these people. Even their clothes are higher quality. They're still not as well off as some other places. But they're getting there. What's this thing? Huh? I think someone's calling out for us. Crap! Oh, hey! Really? I guess... Well? That phrasing has got me especially curious. What exactly can't be placed, and where? Could it have something to do with collecting clothing? I don't know, but something seems off. Zoogles have been gathering recently, huh?
The Iglia Wastes haven't changed. Still nothing but Zoogles living here. Not to be rude, but it's not exactly the sort of place I'd want to live anyway. Seriously? Is this a joke? I can carve through one! Glacial Spear! Now or never. I want to make it <laughs> Remind me to stay on your good side. All right, everyone. I've been thinking, and I have an idea. I agree. I'm thinking some fish, some meat. Oh, and some warm vegetable soup sounds nice, too. I haven't even said anything yet. Shion's appetite is easy to read. Some good equipment! I can't say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. Huh? Is that what we're looking for? the landing. No choice. You're mine! Orochi's fury! Get the wind! Orochi grab and kill! Here we go! Let's see what I can do! Three blazers! In here! Let's get you out of Hear my call! Point flat! Look! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! The heavens must be smiling. I won't forgive you! You're mine! The falling storm! So tired. All that running around is catching up with me. No, I, I don't think that's it. I can't unlock. Don't you think you've saved up enough power at this point? I was just waiting for the right moment. Stop being shy and just go for it like you always do. Thanks for the healing. Looks like we got them all. Can't get out of this! Hurricane flight! Lunar corruption! <laughs> Wind astral energy! Uh, shield and bang! Uh, uh, don't believe! Light burst force! Radiant Genesis! We can really make weapons with this? I heard Calaglia's climate became milder after the worlds merged, but this is... It has only become milder in comparison to before. If it were to change too fast, neither the people nor plant life would be able to keep up. That's not quite what I meant. I hope one day the people in this realm have enough water to go swimming whenever they want. Don't get complacent. Well then, I should probably think about tonight's menu. Onward and upward. What's this thing?
it still amazes me every time he does that. Yeah, the way they grow before your eyes really is astounding. Hey, Dohalim, what would happen if you tried to cast that on a person instead of a plant? I don't know. I've never made the attempt. Are you seriously going to ask him to cast that on you just so you can be a little taller? Are you crazy? How'd you know that's what I was thinking? You are a young man of straightforward goals, Law. It was an easy guess. The design of this equipment is really interesting. You must really like it, Alfin. All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Try holding it? Ugh. How do you even walk with this thing? Go I'm no further! Hurricane Slug! Dead! This one is mine! Vacuum Blade! Get in the wind! Hurricane Slug! Get on it! Remember, Lightning Parts are weak points! Hurricane Slug! Hurricane Slug! Now, while it's freely! Take it down! Soaring Ground Sphere! Stardust! Point Black! All the power of my healing arts to accomplish it! Orochi Fury! Oh, fighting, fighting Resurrection! I'll burn it all! <laughs> Flaming Pillar! Fire! Hey, that'll bring you the down! Ground and Ground! Terror! Still! Still. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! We should be able to cook here. Really, just spend that much money? Ooh. 
What's this thing? What's this thing? Everything we need is here. Hopefully this will help the reconstruction start again. Hmm. You're lost in your thoughts again. It was probably the blazing sword they needed. Not me. People who know you, see you. <sighs> we all have a hard time with the discrepancy between our true self and the impression others have of us. But I doubt such knowledge will help you feel any better right now. Hey, why don't we go back to Ulzebek? There's no point in staying here anyway. Right, let's go. That looks like the Zugal we were told about. I'll do my best! Oh, get behind me! Commander of Heaven, Phoenix Cyclops! And that takes care of the Zoogles. Wait, what's this? There's more than just clothing here. The leftovers of some kind of meat. What's it doing in a place like this? For now, let's report back to Ulzebek. Lady Fortune must truly be watching over me. I'd steer clear of that Zugal if I were you. We're in for a long slog with... This Maybe one! You want to play? Come at me! You make quick work of them! Want me to pick up your slack then? Just pointing it out! As impressive as always! We are freaking invisible! Other than the other no, I truly are even better than ever! I've never been beyond the actual level! Come on! 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 Take this! Time Feel for one that'll more. bring you down! Get on in there with the other! First strike! Try on instant! What else? Oh, Fury! Up and out! Let's tear him up! Inferno time! Ready to strike! Blow away! Let's just get started! Eat this! Fury! Feel Swallow down! Ready to strike! Up and out! 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 Up and Hold together, just a little longer. Thank you for the sympathy. Get it together, we need you in form. We're going to struggle. So much for sitting this fight out. That wouldn't be a complaint I hear. No, that'd be silly. Hey, wait for war! Just... Nothing! Nothing. 
Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Looks like we got them all. Yeah. Can't stop here. You're right. We should keep moving. While being careful, of course. Comfortable win. We might not be as bad as Alfin, but I feel like we're taking on too many requests. We're helping people with their problems. There's nothing wrong with that. I guess. Back at the ranch should be open. Grown up by now. About time we call it a night? Indeed. One should never underestimate the power of beauty sleep. Odd. I never thought you would care. It's a brand new day, everyone! Let's greet the dawn! Hmm. A laudable sentiment. Shirt on backwards? Suffice Is it to say mornings aren't his strong suit? Back, are you? How did it go? Not bad. That should be all taken care of. Oh, wow, that's great! I knew I could count on the blazing sword! Thank you, I really appreciate it! Hmm. The blazing sword until the bitter end, huh? I wonder what he would have done if I'd turned him down. Well, I guess... He probably would have been disappointed that you couldn't help him. But I can't help everyone! It's like I'm doomed to fail them. Sometimes I think Volron was right. This is 
is my only choice? Drop everything every time someone needs help? Is that even me anymore? I talk to Nazemir like I'm some sort of role model. But look at me. What future? Alfin. I knew it would be like this if I came to the city. Why did I agree to come? Alfin. Why did you save me? Was it just because you were a hero? No. No, of course not. That, that's not it. I... I just... You chose to fight because you had a reason, right? Regardless of what that reason may have been. Don't forget that you have friends. That there are people who can help guide you. That's part of the reason why I wanted you to come here with me. It's because I wanted to help remind you of that fact. Uh. From what I remember, there should be someone in this city who can help you in ways that the rest of us can't. The Crimson Crows? No, not them. Uh. Doc. Right. Doc. Oh, yeah. Doc's living in Olzebeck now. Law. <laughs> the walls have been torn down and the worlds have become one, but people still divide themselves. Some do, but not everyone. Take that tailor, for instance. You're right. As long as there are those who try to join hands together, we can move forward. Even if only one step at a time. Doc? Hmm. You aren't looking too good yourself, though. I've been wondering when you'd show up. <sighs> so, what is it? I don't know what you're struggling with, but just spit it out. That's the reason you've come here, isn't it? I can't keep any secrets from you, can I? So, the truth is... I see. So everyone comes to you asking for your help. I don't mind being relied on. I mean, I'm happy to help. It's just that... They take it for granted because you're a hero. That must be tough. I don't blame you. I just don't understand. Renans hate me without question, while Danans call me a hero. Who in the world am I? 
We spend such a long time as slaves. In some ways, I suppose we're still trying to get free. <sighs> Listen, Alfin. How many hands do you have? Hands? Well, I have two. And how many things can you hold at once with those two hands? Ah. Uh. You think the Blazing Sword can hold hundreds or thousands of things at once just because he's a hero? Nonsense. Uh, well... All they see is the legend. They can't tell the difference between Elf and the Person and Elf and the Blazing Sword. That's your real problem, isn't it? So you need to tell them. Remind them that you only have two hands. Are you saying I should abandon people even when they're asking for my help? Not at all. You want to help everyone. That's a great mindset, and there's nothing wrong with it. However, in order for you to meet everyone's needs, you would have to grow a thousand hands. No? Even a thousand wouldn't be enough. You'd still miss something, and the people would still complain. All you can do is choose what's important to you. What will you do with just those two hands of yours? You are the one who decides, Alfin. Not the people, not the blazing sword, but you. I decide. I decide for myself. I do. Those ghouls being used as housing for Renans, so we can't go in. The Renans there must be living pretty rough. They say it's temporary until they can relocate to Pelegion, at the very least. I hear it's been improved quite a bit since Doc and I lived there.
Hmm. What's going on? I don't know, but it's gotta be something big. That's the blazing sword, you know. Everyone, listen! I once fought with my friends against the Renan Lords. I did so because I thought it was the way to save everyone. I always thought that I had an obligation to fight, to help those unable to fend for themselves. But I realized I was wrong. I can certainly fight to some extent, but I'm still just a human. I'm not a god or a hero. What are you saying? No way! You mean you're not going to help us anymore? That's not what I'm saying. I want to do all I can. But not because I'm some hero. Not because anyone told me to. I want to do it because I choose to. Even so, there's a limit to what I can do. And that's why... You're saying you'll be a hero who helps when you're truly needed. Nath. When Zephyr died, we foisted that responsibility entirely on you, rather than sharing the burden. Eventually, you'll be gone, just like Zephyr. Everyone dies in the end, whether they are a hero or not. We need to learn to fend for ourselves and not rely entirely on you. Or on any individual, for that matter. Am I right? Right. Exactly. I believe that is the path to real, lasting freedom. For all of us. But each and every one of you will need to work together. I'm asking for your help. You heard him. The time for depending completely on others is over. From here on out, we have to find ways to do whatever we can on our own. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll be fine. Go ahead and leave the rest to us. You focus on yourself. I'm sorry for burdening you with so much up until now. Thanks. Feeling better? Yeah. I guess, in the end, it seems I was bound by the word hero myself. You freaked me out when you suddenly decided to talk to everyone on your own like that. Those who depend entirely on others cannot truly call themselves free. A good lesson that we all should keep in mind. The people here will eventually understand. I really believe that. If everyone can learn to truly think and decide for themselves, I think they'll start seeing a lot of things differently. And hopefully, one day, they'll realize that the differences between Danins and Renans don't matter at all. So then, now that you've decided to follow your heart, what do you want to do next, Alfin? I want to find Nazimil. I'm not sure what she's going through, but I can't help but feel like she needs us. But first, I want to go to Niez. Niez? I want to speak to the people in different cities like I did in Olzebek. I'll start with Niez. I'll start sowing the seeds in every town, so that maybe, one day... That's quite an undertaking. Difficult for a hero, let alone one man. Well, I guess we'll just have to lend him a hand then, won't we? Niez it is then. Unlike Ulzebek, 
Both Danans and Renans live in Niez. How do you plan to start? Good question. Do you think we should talk to people separately or together? Separately would raise questions. I believe at the same time is better. Nice. Can't be. What? Elfin. Right. Sacrificing donuts. Unforgivable. Uh, what's up with Xion? Hell hath no fury like a hungry Xion. Okay, off we go. Is that the Zoogle we were told to dispatch? Seriously? Is this a joke? In a bind? This one's mine! There! I think we can get through this. More donuts Do it. until it's over. Astral energy! Say no more! Let's go, Rinwell! Nice outfit! Don't you think you saved up enough power still. at this point? <laughs> I'll stop I was talk. just Thank waiting you, for the right moment. Stop being shy and just dream. go for it like you always do. Xion! <laughs> Calm down! Swing Dance in the way, Alvin! Air thrust! Thunder! Kill! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Reinforcements incoming! Not a problem! Strike! Burn! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! My turn! I'm not done! Fuck up, Luna! None shall escape my gun! I can carve through armor! Inferno crosser! Light asteroid! Lightning attack! Thunderblade! You're mine! I can't imagine what we'd do without you, Renwell. Who, me? That's a little much, don't you think? Now! All right. That should do it for the Zoogles. Let's let Cole know we're done.
think it's safe to rest here now. Yes. Right. You did it! dream comes true. I do, too. By the way... Uh, uh, yes? I don't think we'll have enough donuts for tomorrow. people in hey right I got it We owe Doc a lot. It's nice having someone you can rely on. Let's collect our things. The Crimson Crows are so cool! I want to join myself someday! Nice! I'm sure you'll make it in. When you do, I'll be right there with you. How mature of you to be thinking about the future already. <laughs> the Crimson Crows isn't just it, though. There are a whole lot of other things I want to do, too. Like what? I want to go out and travel all around the world, like you guys. That's great. Traveling's a blast. <laughs> also, I still want to make something and sell it to people. I haven't forgotten my promise, Xion. I'm looking forward to you making something tasty. Have you ever thought of coming to Vicente to study? It could be an opportunity to learn about both traveling and sales. Studying, huh? Hmm. I've never done anything like that before. It sounds hard, but maybe I'll give it a try. I'll have to be brave to make life better for everyone here. Like when Alfin broke down that wall. That is laudable insight to have at your age. You should know, though, that balancing that with the Crimson Crows will be no easy feat. What if you put together a new group? It could be your very own crew. Traveling the world, doing business. Whoa, that sounds amazing. Okay, and we're going to be called the Awesome Fearless Dreamers. Ooh, I like it. A name like that just screams courage. Huh. Don't you think it's a bit long? Well, I suppose it gets the idea across. <laughs> hmm. All right.
No. Yeah. Hmm? How's this? Yes. With this much, cultivation shouldn't be a problem. Impressive as usual, Alfin. I hope your herb garden can grow well now. It definitely will, thanks to you. Speaking of which, I'm curious. There are Renin machines that treat sickness now. Why focus on growing medicinal herbs? I hear you. And that technology is definitely impressive. But machines break, don't they? You can rely on them sometimes, but not always. That's when herbs come in to save the day. That's true. Healing arts are useful as well, but sometimes you just need medicine. The way I see it, the most important thing is knowledge. Machines break and medicine runs out. But with the right knowledge, you can repair a machine or make more medicine. Knowledge never goes bad. You never cease to amaze, Doc. Always thinking one step ahead. Flattery will get you nowhere, Alfin. My knowledge is still quite limited. I'd like to expand what I know about herbs. It'd help to find a book or meet someone who knows more than I do. Then we'll try to find that for you. Maybe there's a real herb master somewhere out there. I'd really appreciate that. If I were younger, I'd go searching myself. No need for that, Doc. Let us do the footwork. You just wait here. expert on medicinal herbs. I might know someone who's familiar with books on them. Remember? In the Palace in Vicent. Oh, yeah! Tigrina, the librarian! So, you remember her name, huh? Interesting. Uh, hey, what's with the stink eye? If you find anyone who knows about medicinal... Sure, we'll find... Your travels began here. Did they not? Yes. This is where Shion and I met. Everything started with that moment. Who knows where we'd all be right now if you two hadn't run into each other? If I hadn't met Alfin or the rest of you... No. I don't even want to imagine what that'd be like. Life is full of surprises. Both good and bad. That's right. When things get tough, we just have to stick together and trust that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Hurry it up, Alfin! Hey, you too, Lord Man! Haste makes waste, young one. Oh, don't even start with me on that! Come on, we're keeping everyone waiting! He's right. Shion and Rinwell must be getting impatient with us too. I don't believe that's the case. Look, they seem to be enjoying themselves. It feels so comforting to just sit quietly side by side, next to each other. And being able to follow through with something you've set your mind to like that. It's dependable, you know? Wow, you really have a soft spot for that sort of thing, don't you? Mm hmm Are they talking about... Yeesh. Kinda awkward if we butted in now, right, Alfin? Not at all. We should say something. No, no. It would be rude of us to interrupt. Let us assess the situation and choose the time to make our entrance with propriety. You mean eavesdrop. Personally, I really like those light, nimble movements. There's a graceful fluidity to them. 
And the strike that comes afterwards? It's always so cool, no matter which way you look at it. Strike? Hold up! For me, it's the poise I'm fond of. That dignified demeanor never seems to falter, all while staying alert and being receptive to even the most subtle shift in sounds. Hmm, sounds. I know, and those big, beautiful, thoughtful eyes. I keep finding myself inadvertently gazing into them. Big, beautiful, and thoughtful? She's right. Elfin does have beautiful eyes. If anyone has thoughtful eyes, it's Dohalim. But surely big eyes refers to law? I can't wait to see Zare again. The cat! The cat! When I see you speaking with other Renans, they always look so happy. It's made me realize just how many people depend on you, Dohalim. I'm glad to be able to help, but I do feel it goes a bit too far sometimes. You can say that again. Apparently there are even some who want you to be the new ruler of the Renan people. I suspect their minds are still trapped in the Renan mentality that the strong have an inherent right to rule and should be followed. Unfortunately for them, the reign they envisioned was but a fantasy, even in the old days. Going forward, they will need to face reality. Yeah, a reality with no more lords or sovereigns. Though there are still those enthralled by my title of former lord. I hope to see the day when they too can stand on their own two legs. That said, I don't think people place their faith in you just because you were once a lord. I kept it from you so as not to burden you further, but... There have been quite a few requests for you in Vicent as well. Is that so? For what, pray tell? Some want you to pass on your extensive knowledge by becoming a school teacher. Others say they want you to help them learn to appreciate music. And, as a request for the elegant and handsome Dohalim, there were even some who wished to be your lover. Well, that's a scary voice. Sounds less like people want things from him and more like they just want him. I wish people talked about me like that. There he goes, talking like an idiot again. When it comes to children, they all want you to be their father. Sing them songs, read them stories, that sort of thing. It's actually rather sweet. <laughs> I see. Not all things people desire of me are quite so vapid, I suppose. Yes. As a side note, I should mention that most of these requests happen to come from women. It must be wonderful to be so popular, hmm? Kisara, why are you staring at me with a gaze like the coldest winter? <laughs> in the end, it sounds like wherever Dohalim goes, he leaves a string of hearts in his wake. I certainly do no such thing. hear a voice. Somebody's asking for help. Hopefully it's nothing that'll be too hard to deal with. Hey, you're still hanging out at the library, right? Anything interesting happened lately? Anything interesting? Well, I have found plenty of interesting new books to read. Yeah? Like what? Books on horticulture, culinary techniques, things like that. Recently, I've been diving into some new topics. I've gotten to know some of the other people at the library, and they've been recommending all sorts of new books for me to try. So they're... like book buddies, huh? Yeah, exactly! Any book I choose for myself is going to be colored by my own preferences, so it helps to have some outside opinions. I'm broadening my horizons. Yeah, great! Just don't spend too much time reading. It's not healthy. Excuse me? You're the one who brought up the library. You just wanted to say that? No, just... Never mind. Oh. Could it maybe be... that you're lonely? Huh? Uh, as if! There's nothing wrong with that. I feel lonely sometimes too, being away from you guys. I think it's normal for friends to miss each other. But no matter how much I wonder what you're all doing out there, it's not like I can just pop over and see you. Yeah, kinda hard to do that when we live in different realms. But still, 
It's nice that we get to hang out from time to time. Like now. Even if it is, you know, in the name of necessity. I'm always looking forward to seeing you all again. And that helps give me strength when I'm alone. I've been looking forward to seeing you all again, too. I didn't realize we both felt the same way. All right. I'm gonna work my butt off when I get back to the Crimson Crows. I've gotta be able to keep up with you, after all. Just don't go overboard and get yourself injured. It'll be fine. I'm far too tough to get injured that easily. See? It's exactly that kind of attitude that I'm worried about. Ugh. Got your face stuck in a book as usual, huh? What kind of stuff do you read, anyway? All sorts of things. Ancient accounts, histories... Just recently, I was reading a book about astral arts. So what's the point? Does this, like, make your astral arts stronger? No. I just read because I like to learn. Though... It is also helpful for my research. Research? Mm-hmm. For example... I'm looking into whether it's possible to combine Dan and magic with Ren and Astral Arts. I'm also interested in the mausoleums and Dana's past. Okay. I'll admit, I'm not totally following. But, uh... Is there a purpose to this research? Like a goal? A purpose? Hmm... Well, I guess there is something I'd like to try someday. I want to try writing my own book. Instead of just reading what others have written. This is the first I'm hearing of it. What kind of book do you want to write? I have several ideas I've been thinking about, but... Most of all, I'd like to write about Dan and magic. Leave as much of my knowledge behind as possible, you know? And also... If there are any other Danans out there who can use magic, like me... Maybe that book could help me find them. Wow. You've really thought this through. You're amazing, you know that? What's gotten into you? I'll have you know that flattery won't get you anywhere. Law is correct. All the knowledge you've gained on Dan and Magecraft would be lost if not made manifest. That book would serve as a guiding light to scholars for generations to come. You're gonna embarrass me if you keep talking like that. It's no big deal. I just like to study, that's all. I know what you mean. Whether books or art, there is an indescribable, fragrant allure to those things that have traversed the ages. Yeah! Who doesn't like the smell of old books? Uh, yeah! Yeah, totally! They do smell, uh, yummy, don't they? What? La, please don't eat my books. Hey. <laughs> what? How's this? <laughs> huh? Got it. We've got the book. Let's take it back to Doc. She really is an amazing librarian. A bit unique, though. Looks like we made it here in one piece. We found a book for you, Doc. Apparently, it's full of details about medicinal herbs. Oh, amazing. 
All these illustrations are a big help. I'll be able to grow so much more with this. Great to hear. That makes all the searching worthwhile. The owner said if there's anything you need to know, just contact the palace in Vicent and she'll respond. How considerate. You really went out of your way for me on this one, huh? <laughs> I feel busier now than when everyone called you a hero, Alfin. <laughs> you may be right. But now Doc's Herb Garden will succeed, and a lot of people will get help. I can't disagree with that. As I'm sure you already know, that's just how he is. You can give up on ever trying to change him. Oh, I gave up long ago. It's part of what makes him Alfin. You guys are gonna make me blush. Uh, enough of this. Let's get what we came for and get going. Sure. Here you go. Feel free to come back anytime. I must say, I'm impressed with the old man's keen insight. I know, right? I've always known him as a dependable person, but Doc still surprises me every time I see him. He's always looking at the big picture and how his actions can help others. I think it's really admirable. I agree. But, you know, those same things apply to you, Alfin. You should be proud of yourself as well. Thanks, Shion. If Doc ever does end up meeting the librarian, though, he might be in for a bit of a surprise. That's for sure. She certainly is somewhat unique. Who knows? They might end up getting along. Hmm. They do seem to share a similar passion for knowledge. Perhaps they could spend some meaningful time with one another. Anyway, I'm glad the Sovereign and Maiden outfits are back in our hands. Me too. Now we can wear them whenever we want. Yeah! You should wear them every day to make all the trouble we went through worthwhile. The whole point of owning clothes you like is having the freedom to wear what you want when you want to. It's no fun if you feel obligated to wear something. That's right. You shouldn't need a reason to dress up. You should just dress for yourself, because it's something you want to do. I'm surprised. It's rare for us to have the same opinions on clothing. Maybe you're finally starting to understand fashion. Well, I did have a good teacher. My, my. You two have gotten close. Looking back on our travels, Alfin, it occurs to me that you volunteered to help countless people by performing relatively menial tasks. Maybe instead of a hero, they should call you a handyman. That title probably suits me better than Sovereign or Blazing Sword. Alfin, the handyman. Nah, sorry, that's lame.
hey, if we find anyone who needs help here... I know. We'll make... <sighs> hey. kid hasn't gone too far. But speaking of doing what you want, Xion, what's something you've always wanted to do? Me? I may have mentioned, but I have some general ideas. Cooking, clothing design, things like that. I haven't decided on a particular thing I want to do yet, though. I see. There's no rush, so give it some thought. I wonder what we'll find out there this time. Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. Are you Delio by any chance? Your father is looking for you. Sword? And I remember you too! You're the one who gave us the elevator key at Glanamede Castle. Yep. You saved my life that day. I made it out safely thanks to you. Glad you're safe. My name is Alfin, and this is Xion. I'm Delio. Nice to meet you. Your father told us what you're doing out here. This is a dangerous place for fruit picking, especially alone. My father's been tired, and I want to help him feel better. When I was forced to work at Glanamede Castle, I saw so many people work until they dropped. When you came and freed us all, I was so happy. That's when I decided I wanted to help people too. And I, but I don't have any weapons, so I thought about what else I could do. Delio. How about this? We'll gather fruit for you. Xion? Oh, really? I haven't found any yet and was starting to worry about what I'd do. Yes, leave it to us. You go back home and wait with your father. Okay, got it. Thanks, Xion. I'm sorry I answered without consulting you first. No, it's fine. I felt the same way after all. I just... I want to show support for that child. Yeah, I know. Some fruit for you. Here, take it. Are... are you sure? Is... Yes, I'm all right now. Listen, I'm sorry about what I said back at Glanamede Castle. It's okay. I was a little surprised, but Alfin told me it wasn't my fault, so I didn't let it bother me. Thanks for the fruit. It looks so delicious. I'll share some with my dad right away. Ha <laughs> ha! How wonderful! You've both been such a big help. 
Our actions had greater benefits than we realized. I'm really glad we were able to free those people from slavery. Xion? What's the matter? That child is just like I was when I was freed from my thorns. Once I no longer had to deal with them, I thought of so many things I wanted to do. Am I selfish? No, not at all. I think it's a good thing. I'm not so sure. But after meeting that boy, I think I want to do more of the things I thought of. Is that right? Well, I'll be here to support you. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. <laughs> that means a lot. Thanks, Elfin. So, have you thought about what you want to do first? A little. I think that coming up with outfits sounds more fun than just reviewing clothing. Oh, yeah? I think that's great. Thanks. And a new look for you is at the top of my list, Alfin. <laughs> Just don't pick anything too wild, okay? Finally made it. Let's see what's going on around here. Yeah, there might be someone who could... You're really someone the people can count on. You never fail to amaze me, Kisara. We're not done yet. Vicent is currently without Dohalim. Or my brother. I've got to handle things for now. Speaking of your brother, those siblings reminded me of you and Miguel. I can see why. When I was a child, I caused him my fair share of trouble. We must find the girl and return smiles to both of their faces. Thank you. Okay. Do you think the missing girl was fighting with her brother? It's what siblings do. 
My brother and I were also separated for a time, though that was less of a fight and more me rejecting him. Kisara... Don't worry. We'll find that girl, no matter what. Yes. Let's. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. What's that? Here we go! Retreat if you know what's good for you! Take this! A new Let's melody! Blow away! The flaming... We've got fires! I've got this! Let a marksman handle it! All yours! Ready to light if I do! Blow away! Enemies incoming! I can carve Then we'll take them down! Lightning or... We can smash through them! Don't gotta tell me! Don't let up until they're down! I wouldn't dream of it! I'm dressed in the wind! Wait now! I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! You've got some nerve showing up to get knocked down! I'm ready! Literally! In an instant! Impact claw! We work well together! Let's finally time claw! Lost my focus! Now, I'm on your bank! Let's go! Be still! Rising focus! I'm just doing it! In an instant! Impact clock! My turn! Oh! Now I'm real mad! Here I come! Hack down! Flaming front! Force flash! Do it! Rising totally! In an instant! Impact clock! Not a chance! I'll crush you! <laughs> Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! First strike! You're mine! Now you see what I can do! Now I'm in the group! Face down! Light. Lightning on! Now you see Jerbo! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! We're good to go. The girl's nowhere in sight. If the Zoogles were gathered here, maybe she's nearby. Let's keep searching. Over there. Is that? I was so scared. So you were hiding in the bushes. I'm glad we found you. You were surrounded by Zoogles. Did you get hurt? No, I'm fine. Thanks to you. That's good. But what were you doing out here all by yourself? I just wanted to repair my bracelet. I'm sorry. Your bracelet? You mean that one woven from grass? It does look tattered. My mom wove this for me a long time ago. And this is where my dad gathered the grass for it. So it's a keepsake from your parents. But my brother accidentally stepped on it. Even though it's so important to me. That explains why you were fighting. I just wanted to fix it. So I came here to gather more grass to weave it back together. And did you find any? Yeah, but I don't know how to weave. If Mom were here, she could show me. Here, let me see that bracelet. And the grass, too. Huh? Goodness, I'm so glad you're safe. 
I was worried sick this whole time. I'm sorry. I just wanted to fix my bracelet. No, it's my fault. I know how important that bracelet is to you. I should have been more careful. Uh, you won't believe this, but this nice lady wove it back together for me. Huh? I did. My older brother taught me to weave. So not only did you find my sister, but you went out of your way to fix her bracelet, too? Thank you so much. I sure am glad you're here in Menencia. You're our savior. I've done nothing special. Plenty of people in Menencia joined together to help. People in town were worried about you and helped with the search, both Danans and Renans alike. Vicent is amazing. I'm so glad we moved here. In any other city, my sister might have been lost forever. I can't thank you enough. You two should both treasure each other. You're the only family you've got, and that's something special. That's for sure. Thanks, miss. Kisara. No, please don't say anything. Not now, Dohalim. I simply do all in my power for the people of this realm. The realm my brother loved. I see. This realm has a bright future ahead of it. It certainly does. Wow, Kisara. I'm amazed you know how to weave grass like that. You said you learned it from Miguel, right? It sounds like he really did teach you everything. Yes. Just like that girl's mother. He used to weave grass into bracelets and necklaces for me back when we were kids. <laughs> Kisara? Sorry, it's just... It occurred to me that something he taught me to make me smile is now bringing a smile to someone else's face. I... I know that I could never be as great as my brother. You were the one who decided to fix the bracelet and find the girl. Dohalim. Miguel's dream is still alive thanks to you. You're right. Thanks to meeting all of you, I can say my dreams are no longer just dreams. Exactly. I couldn't even hope to count all the times I've been saved by your shield. Yeah, Kisara. I can even do some housework now because you taught me. You've always been a really good listener when I've got something on my mind. And that one time I stained my clothes during a meal? I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there to help. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. It sounds like I've been helping all of you more than I realized. The ideals imparted to us can still be made a reality, but only by those who are alive now, in the present. I chose that path. There's still a long way to go, but for some reason, I feel radiant right now. Oh? How very curious. Walking next to you, I feel the same way.
Well... Hmm... No. How about it? Dohalim? Hmm. Where do relics come from? Well, that's an interesting title. I wonder what it has to say. An intriguing question indeed. Where do relics come from, and where do they go? I'd love to learn our predecessors' views on the subject. Uh, but objects don't move on their own, you know. That's not what the title means! Always good to be back in familiar territory. My thanks. That was quite the little adventure we went on. Agreed. Looks like we made it here in one piece.
Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Nothing gets right in. Maybe show Kisara a little kindness, huh? She is strong. She can handle it. You can be really dense, Dohalim. Thunder! You're ready to Sleep now. I'm ready! Swallow dance! Let's refrain from losing. It doesn't look like those Zoogles are going anywhere anytime soon. We can't let the book get damaged. We have to get it back quickly. Hi, Hoodle! Here I come! That'll bring that you down! Go. I'm on! Negative uh, dragon shell! Resonate with the other oh, 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 one! Come on! Oh, you are in good oh, time! As soon as I'm done here, come help me! I'm free! Let's get the team! Stay on! Can you take care of them? That does no seem wise. Set. Now let's turn the tide. Radiant light. Full Dragon shell. Fury. That brick coming through. Ha! Smell. Scarlet Inferno. A oh. This oh, one's all mine. The waters of creation. A debut performance. Immortal Dragon. Burn in hell. Burn. Good. Now I can. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. It's a little dirty, but it looks mostly unharmed. As this book's knowledge is imparted to those who possess it, it may become a relic itself someday. That's true. I feel like I found the answer to the book's question before I even read it. Relics sure are fascinating, aren't they, Dohalim? Indeed. They're stimulating and teach us countless new things. But we ought to return this one to its rightful place. Let's go back to Vicent, shall we? Books are easily damaged, so we've got to handle it with care. You're the temperamental one here. You be careful. Oh, shut up! Thunderblade! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! much it took us on quite the journey but i think we were able to grow as a result oh right that book was dropped before we found it but it isn't seriously damaged is it it looks to be fine no pages are missing from what i can tell the cover's a little scuffed up but i can take care of that no problem oh good then this valuable text is back where it belongs yeah, it's a relief the book made its way back. But more importantly, since you're the one who said you really wanted to read the book, nothing would make me happier than you giving it a read. Well, like Dohalim said, it's already taught us the importance and appeal of relics. Really, I should be the one thanking you, but I'll definitely read it after you've finished restoring it. Yes, I'll let you know once it's ready. I'd love to hear your thoughts.
I wonder when I'll be able to read that book. I can hardly wait to crack it open. Once we've both finished it, we should share our thoughts on what it has to say. Maybe I'll give it a read, too. Why bother? I'm sure you'll fall asleep after a few pages. The hell I will! Just you watch. I'll show you I can do something if I set my mind to it. They left. What was that all about? It sure doesn't seem like any sort of festival. I've got a very bad feeling about this. The way they didn't seem to be listening to anything brings back some bad memories, huh? What we saw at Volron's castle. You're right. Just what's going on? And those masks. Yeah. They look just like the iron mask I once wore. We should find someone who can fill us in. They're all wearing masks. They aren't responding to anything we say. What's going on? Maybe we can find someone without a mask. same masks. Even the Renans. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? It's useless. What's going on? Do these come off? Removing them should be our last resort. If the masks caused this, who knows what happens if we take them off? Hmm. So silent. It's creepy. Either Dan and or Renan is fine. Isn't there anyone here without a mask? Maybe they've taken shelter somewhere. Let's have a look around. Who is it? Bayfun? You're safe. What's happening? What was wrong with those people out front? 
Well. Hmm? A while back, some very odd folks showed up in town. They were all wearing masks, but there were both Renans and Danans among them. But that wasn't the weirdest part of the whole thing. Who do you think was leading them? I don't know. Who? Nazamil. What do you mean? How could Nazamil be leading them? It's exactly as I said. Only one person was wearing a different mask than the others, and it was her, no doubt about it. They called themselves Cal Basil. The one path. They said they had come to bring peace. However, their methods made that very hard to believe. They started putting those masks on all the people here, and you saw what happened to them after that. You mean you couldn't stop them? What happened? Where were the Dark Wings? Nazamil was using some astral art. It was nearly impossible to resist her. I see. But you managed to slip away and hide here. What is Nazamil up to? Turning people into her puppets with those masks? They say they bring peace. And I guess technically, they can't fight if they're all being controlled like that. Nazamil told us to be patient a little longer, didn't she? Whatever is going to happen, it must be imminent. Do you know where they were headed? Shinefall Woods, in Ganeth Harrows. I know it's odd, but when someone asked where they came from, that's where they said their base is. They're not even trying to hide? Could it be some kind of trap? We'll just have to go and find out. I see no other options. Phase one's coming along well. Soon, phase two will come. Everything is going perfectly. Just you wait. Always good to be back in familiar territory. <laughs> I'm hungry! So hungry! I can eat a whole horse by myself! <laughs> I bet. Hmm, speaking of dinner, I think it's Shion's turn to cook tonight, right? I believe so. Let's ask if she can get started sooner rather than later. If for no other reason than to settle Law down. Hmm? What? Something wrong? Hush. They sound quite excited about something. From what I've heard, a lot of people have been copying Kagari and Notio's wedding ceremony from last year. Yeah, it's a traditional Renan ceremony. But ever since they got married, it's gotten super popular, even among Danon couples. The whole thing was just so lovely. It was my first time attending a wedding, but I can definitely see the appeal. Lovely, yeah. Oh, and all the food they served was delicious, too. I know, there was so much food, but everything they served was carefully chosen. And you could taste the care put into every bite. And the flowers. The arrangement they chose for Kagari's bouquet was a perfect fit for her. Also, 
During the banquet after the ceremony, Kagari and Notia were telling me the whole story about how they found their new house. They said it was okay if it was simple and bare bones. They just wanted a warm place where they could spend their days together. I want that too. A joyous ceremony for a loving couple starting a new life together. <laughs> I guess dreams really can come true. It was a perfect day. <laughs> Sounds like someone may have been taking notes. N no, it's not like that. Anyway, Kisara, how about you? Me? Hmm. Well, I certainly don't think marriage is the most important thing in life. That said, I'll admit having a wedding ceremony does seem nice. Really? It sounds like you both feel the same way then. Oh, speaking of which, Kisara, do you remember what you said at Kagari and Notio's ceremony? About the bouquet toss? You mean how if you can't catch a bouquet, you'll end up always being single and alone? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. As it turns out, that isn't true at all. What? It isn't? Apparently not. I actually just found out recently myself. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have mentioned it without checking first. This is quite an interesting conversation. In more ways than one. Seriously? Who cares about weddings and all that kind of stuff? Let's go already! I'm starving! If we must. Personally, I feel it's rather boorish of you to spoil their fun. Hey! You guys talking about weddings? Oh, you three are finally back! Yeah, it turns out weddings are all the rage these days. I have heard the same. There is no denying that Notio and Kagari's ceremony was a delightful occasion, filled with warmth and understanding. That's for sure. Even after the ceremony was over, Shion just kept going on and on about how nice it had been. I... I don't know about that. Really? I guess I never realized. Law must be misremembering, that's all. <laughs> anyway, I've got a dinner to make. Seems like it's a bit of a touchy subject for her. It would probably be best not to press her on it. <sighs> what is it, Alfin? Is something the matter? No, sorry, I... I'm just realizing that there's so much I don't know. I had no idea that weddings were popular, that Shion was so interested in them. Any of it. Don't let it get to you. Paying attention to such things is simply not in your nature. Damn, Dohalim. Are you trying to cheer the poor guy up or rub salt in the wound? No, it's fine, Law. Dohalim is right. Still, it's something I need to work on. Otherwise, it could get me into real trouble in the future. Maybe someday I'll, uh find someone I want to marry. If my bride is someone who cares deeply about the wedding ceremony, then that means it should be important to me, too. I don't want to use my own ignorance as an excuse to make my bride-to-be do all the planning. That would be a huge burden for one person to carry, right? That may be the case, but I'm still not sure what you're getting at. I just think that it's important to know about weddings. Not only weddings, but marriage in general. I need to learn more about them so I can be prepared. I want to do some research and fill in the gaps in my knowledge. That way I'll have the confidence to help out and make informed decisions when the time comes. But I've never done something like this before. I have no idea where to even begin. So... You're saying you want us to help you out? You got it! To be honest, I don't really know that much about the subject myself, though. Thanks, Law. Oh, speaking of which, you should definitely make sure to ask Xion for help. There's probably nothing about nuptials that she doesn't know. No. Sorry, but I, uh, want to keep this a secret from her. Because, um, I'm doing this for my own benefit. So I want to do as much of it as possible on my own, without being a burden on anyone else. I realize I'm asking for some assistance from all of you guys, but I don't want to bother Xion with this. If I did, and I'd end up relying on her too much. I really want to avoid that. So, I want to do this research, but I also want to keep Xion from finding out about it. Can you help me? Whoa, that was a whole lot of words. But I think I get what you're trying to say. You could have just said you don't want to cause trouble by not knowing anything, because you finally decided you want to marry Xion. Ow! You need to work on your filter law. You don't have to say every thought that pops into your head. You aren't a little kid, are you? Ah! Oh. 
sorry. My, my. Those growing pains can sure pack a wallop. At any rate, I think I speak for all of us when I say we are sympathetic to your cause. We shall assist in your research and keep it to ourselves. You should go about this endeavor in your own way. If you do not wish to involve Xion at this time, then so be it. But be mindful that should she find out, you'll likely need to explain all of this to her. The pursuit of knowledge is a noble one. I'm rooting for you, Alfin. Thanks, all of you. I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity to gather as much info as I can. So, Alfin, what kind of information are you after first? What's the most important thing to know about weddings? Hmm... Flowers, maybe? You know, Xion was saying something about bouquets. What was that, Rinwell? Uh, nothing. I didn't say anything. I agree, though. Flowers that match the bride are a must. They are, right? By the way, will our cover be okay? I don't want Xion to know what I'm up to. We're good. Kisara's on Xion distraction duty, so we should have plenty of time. We'll make sure Xion keeps busy while you're gathering information. That way you should be able to keep it a secret from her. Thanks. I don't mean to cause trouble for everyone just because of some weird whim of mine. We don't mind, but be sure to explain everything to Xion at some point. So, you need info on flowers. What do you want to know exactly? What kind of flowers are best for a wedding? If there are any special kinds you need? That kind of thing. White's the best color, right? Hmm. I think you should talk to an expert on the subject. Anyone come to mind? Well, I don't know how much he knows about flowers, but Mahavar sailed around the world. Maybe somewhere on his travels he picked up some knowledge about flora. He's taken us out on his ship lots of times. Starting with our pursuit of Almadria. He's in Thessalon now, right? I'm pretty sure that's what Dohalim said. Let's go see if he can help. I was able to distract Xion. I hope she doesn't suspect anything. That's great, Kisara. The way forward is clear now, thanks to you. Yeah! Let's hurry and go ask Mahavar about the flowers! <laughs> <laughs> 